<laughs> Yo, what is up everybody, Culmination back. And for this video today, I will be bringing you a full video on all my sneakers. Every single one in my collection, I wear all of them. So yeah, let's start off with the countdown. The first pair of shoes I will be starting off with are my LeBron Zoom Soldier 7s. Nothing special, just a general release I got from the Nike outlet for about a hundred bucks. Only use these for basketball. It's probably the only purpose for them I have in my collection. Nothing much, just white, neon yellow with that tropical vibe. Floral print. So yeah, Nike LeBron Zoom Soldier 7. Second up on the list. My Adidas MND XR1 duck camo white. When I used to work at Champs, I saw these and I kind of fell in love with them. You know me, I thought they were something special, big release. But you know, nothing. Nothing big, just a simple NMD release. You could probably get these on anywhere actually I always see these sitting at Foot Locker and Champs all around so yeah NMD XR1 white duck camos next up on the list this is gonna be really funny these used to be the Adidas all white triple white Ultra Boost 2.0s now as you can see from what I did they're not triple white anymore <laughs> I thought I can customize these to be the triple blacks because the white got super dirty and I didn't know about crep or anything or like rejuvenator back then. So I wanted to wanted to turn them all black, see how it came out. And yeah, not the best. Like from that side view, that's, that's not bad. But when you look at the bottom, all the paint just chips off. So yeah, not not the nicest looking pair probably the most beat up pair I have in my collection but yeah Adidas 2.0 Ultra Boost triple white triple white next I have the Jordan 4 royalty simple shoe not bad also got these when I was working at champs looking in the back saw these but they're one of the nicest shoes we, we've had in a while but Nothing special, again. Another general release, nothing big. The suede, it's, it's okay. Not the best suede you've, I can, I've ever felt on a shoe. But I do like the gold hints on the lace holes. But the one thing I don't like is how the gold Jumpman is not as gold as these. Like I know these are supposed to look metallic, but this just looks like, like a fake gold. Nothing really special. So yeah, Jordan 4 royalties. Next, Jordan 1 Yin Yangs, black colorway. Again, nothing special. I knew these weren't going to be anything special. I did get these on release day, but you can never go wrong with a clean pair of all black and white shoes. I wear, these are probably my day-to-day -day sneakers. I remember they had the black laces on them. Switch out for the white because I like the white pops out more. But yeah, these are my everyday sneakers. I ever wear something black or white, always head to these. Not bad. Next on the list, Jordan 9 Pantone Lowe's. These, I remember when I first saw these on one of my apps for when they were releasing. And I thought, Wow, the Pantone 9s. Gotta be something like the Pantone 11s. They're gonna have some hype behind them. Got them. I knew when I ordered them and it said add to cart, I knew it was kind of too good to be true because this is nothing like the Pantone 11s. Nothing like the Pantone 11s. But you know what? Still a great shoe. Wear these a lot. But it's very, very hard to match with these. As you can see, wear them a lot. Got crack all over the bottom. Not bad. So yeah, Jordan 9 Pantones. Next on our list, Jordan 3 True Blues 2016 release, Nike Air. Not bad. 
I uh, thought, I think everyone thought these were going to be one of the hypest releases of the year until they actually hit the market. Until they actually sat on shelves for months collecting dust. When I thought I got my hands on these, I thought I had one of the nicest pairs of shoes. They, they are, they are nice. Don't, don't get that. These are fire. But when it comes to numbers, there's too many of them. Too many shoes. So yeah, Jordan 3, True Blues. Next on the list, Jordan 6 Lows, Chromes. Only Jordan 6 I have in my collection. Nothing bad, another all black sneaker you can match a lot with, black, white, gray. But these, I used to wear every single day. And now, now I just don't wear them anymore. I don't know if I should sell them or just keep them on my shelf. Nothing special, just all black shoe. So yeah, Jordan 6 Chrome Lows. Here we have one of the nicest shoes in my collection. Jordan 11 Space Jams. No, not the older release, the 2016 release. See that nice 45 on the back. No, it's something about the Jordan 11 just always catches my eye. I think it's the shininess of that Pantone leather. Like, this just catches eyes. It's so nice. And it's one of the classic, most classic colorways or no, styles of Jordans that everyone knows what they are. And especially this colorway, everyone knows this is the Space Jam. Everyone knows this is what Michael Jordan wore in Space Jam. So that's why it makes it one of the most iconic Jordan 11s out on the market. Next up, we're gonna switch it up a little bit. This, if you know what this is, then you know it's one really good shoe. But it's not just any normal shoe. This is actually my golf shoe. Special Edition Golf Adidas Cross Knit Boost, made for the US Open this year. Comes in a nice little shoe bag. Here we go. Adidas Cross Knit Boost, specially made for the US Open. Now the one thing I like about these, not just they're made out of Boost, is that the whole bottom has the same type as an Ultra Boost. It has all Boost, and it's the most comfortable shoe I've ever had. Like, for golfing, this is just wonderful. This is beautiful. Can't get anything better than this. Coming down to some of the final pairs of shoes, but next on the list, Adidas Harden Volume 1 Wolf Grays. This is one of the cleanest shoes I've purchased this whole year. Honestly, gray with that icy blue silver bottom, there's, it's so nice. And yesterday I wore it for the first time ever basketball because I couldn't find my other LeBron. Rare, very good basketball shoe. I'm not a fan of low tops, but this one's actually not bad at all. I was very surprised using this yesterday. And you know what? I, I, give, it, I give it two thumbs up. Not bad. So, yeah. Adidas Harden Volume 1. Next shoe in the collection is a shoe I got with a trade from my friend. Jordan 4 Toros. Now, these, when I first, when my friend told me he had a 13 in these, I was very shocked and I tried to get them off his hands. So I gave him uh, a pair of my old KDs and a hundred bucks. So, hey, I'm, I'm taking this deal any day of the week. But, you know, it's got some creasing, some cracking on the midsole. Could use a little bit of cleanup from crap, but you know what? I am selling these, though. I just haven't, like, I don't have many outfits to wear them with. And I just haven't worn them a lot, so I will be selling these. But, yeah, Jordan 4, Toros.
Okay guys, I'm back from Walgreens. Got a brand new memory card in here, so hope it works all good. And I really hoped you enjoyed that video when I was gone. On key. We had some fun when we were on vacation. So next up in the collection, you've already seen it in my first video. You've seen one of these in my first video. Kyrie 2, Dornbecker. I knew ever since I saw the release date of these back in whenever it was, for the fall, September, October, November, I knew I had to have these. I don't know what it is, I don't know if it's the colors, the design, grass strong, or the fact that you just open up the strap and it says, love mom. Like, I think every single design Kit Andy Grass put on the shoe is perfect. Like. This is one of the best shoes I've ever owned in my collection, and the colors are just amazing. And especially the golden aglet. Like, golden, with the small hints of gold with the lion, and the zero. Like, there's, there's nothing better than this. This is why this will be one of the best shoes in my collection to this day. Also, shout out to the Go app. So that's where I picked these up from, for a steal, and they got to my house pretty quick. Next up on the collection, probably my best Jordan I have in my collection. Oh, shit, dropped it. Okay. Jordan 12 Gamma Blues. I got this back in May for my birthday. Shout out to Reup Sneakers in the Deptford Mall, who hooked me up with a great price with these. They were around $350, but they also took my 11 Columbia 11 Lows. And that took like 200 bucks off. So I didn't have to pay much to get these, which is one of the prized gems in my collection. <clears throat> I know it's not to some other people's, but this shoe will always have a spot in my heart. The next shoe in my collection, you could say it's a pretty fire. Pretty fire if I do say so myself. And giving you a hint, it's my first ever pair of Vans in my collection. That's right. Got the old school Van Flames. These, ever saw, ever since I saw them restocking, and I went to um, Kicks USA one day, and the one of the employees had these on. Honestly, like I knew I had to have these. These, like they're my first ever pair of Vans. I've never had anything before this. I tried it on in the store. It was beyond comfortable. Like, it re this really surprised me on how much I like Vans now. You know, it's my only pair. Don't know if I'll be picking any more. But actually, I do like the checkered ones. All the checkered blue, red, white, black. I love the checkered ones. But, yeah. Flame old school Vans. Next shoe in the collection. This one will always be, your, be my best shoe I have. Because this one holds... It, it gets me, hits me in the heart. Gets me home. Cause this is my first ever retro Jordan I've ever purchased. Leave your comments down below if you think you know what it is. Here we go. The Jordan 10 Lady Liberties. These things. I went to the Freehold Mall one day. Saw these at finish line. Hanging out inside the shelf outside the store just like that. Guy said, I went up to the guy. I'm like, do you have this in a 13? He goes, yeah, let me check. Your lucky day. Last one. I'm like, sold. Don't even have to try it on. I'll take it. So yeah, this is my first ever Retro Jordan, and that's when it started the whole collection. So yeah, Jordan 10, Lady Liberties, Fuego. Last two sneakers in my collection, right here. Jordan 8 Chromes. I like this shoe. I got it for Christmas. I like it just like the... Um, what, what shoes were it? Oh yeah, just like the six chromes, and just like the yin yangs, black and white. You can't mix with anything better than this. It matches with anything, but I am not the biggest fan of them because one, I don't wear them as much, and two, it just doesn't look good on my feet. Jordan 8s don't look good on my feet, but if I see a pair that I love, I will buy it. But yeah, I'm thinking about selling these, not sure yet. But yeah, Jordan 8 chromes. Next shoe in the collection, and the last shoe, sadly, 
My, my most recent pickup that you also saw in the last video, Adidas Ultra Boost 3.0 Trace Khaki. What, what isn't there to say about an Ultra Boost? Adidas is killing the game now, better than Nike, better than Jordan, sadly to say, but honestly, like, they beat them with comfort-wise. Adidas Boost is the most comfortable thing I've ever put on my foot. And the colorways are just coming out with it. It's just amazing. Like, this is a great colorway. The olive green one, a great colorway. Like, you can go up and down the line of Adidas Ultra Boost, and there really isn't a bad one. So, yeah. Last shoe of my collection. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully, we can get this video to eh, shoot for 20 likes. It's not going to happen, though. But hey, everyone's got goals. Thank you for watching. Please rate, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you next on my next video. Peace. Bang.